ever slick, ever slick, ever slick. This is a 1500 watt crunch car power, yeah? It's all about it use for output. These are the output here. Two here, two over here. I'm going to change them to these bigger output. These output, output here is 125 watt. These are 150 watt but I'm gonna put four of these on one side and four on the other side so instead of using four in all I'm gonna use eight in all yeah I'm gonna change these capacitor here put them into the 12 volt area yeah and here where the 35 volt is, I'm gonna put a higher voltage. Yeah. Like them two here. You know? In this area to get more amperage to the output. It's, it's, it's all about a upgrade, my people. Seeing? Stick and stay up on the channel. You will see what's happening next. Yes, my people. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ever Slick. I don't know. It's all about Ever Slick Media. You know? There's a lot of things on this channel where you learn to, you know, do things. Yeah. So right about now, it's all about, I have a car power here, 1500 watt. I'm going to build it up to 2000 watt. So stick and stay on the channel to see the upgrade. Yeah. And you can learn a lot the same way. So yes, my viewers. All right. First thing first. I have four resistor here and as I can see you know most amplifier use a half ohms resistor 5 watt this is 5 watt but it is 10 ohms so I have to get four more 10 ohms to work with these four here yeah so the space is limited here so I'm gonna put the next two transistor here and two here all right same on this side two here and two here don't know if them can hold you know but somewhere somehow they are very close wow very very close very very close but if, if anything still if anything still people could be have to drop one like here and over here have to put might be have to put one here yeah one year, one year, and two here. All right. So these four chances here is the MOSFET for the 12 volt range that come inside here. Come through this transformer, turn it into AC, then go back through this two diode, turn it into DC, go back to the two capacitor, then go back in the circuit here. These are the preamp stage. These two chances that here are the drivers for this side. These two are the driver for this side. So yes, once you know about the thing, you can do anything at all about it. Here is the preamp stage where you where the input go in and you can switch from base boots to, you know, yeah, there's a lot of connection there. Here is the power supply system. This IC here control. The, 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 the voltage from the power supply system this IC it's gonna run these four transistors yeah to tell them say look send 35 volt here to the transformer and then split it back to the diodes then back in the capacitor okay so right about now when you see a powerful amplifier you want to know if that amplifier is very powerful especially care amplifier you might see two three or four of this transformer here inside of it you see more bigger caps and more than two you might see four or six caps you, you can tell that the amplifier is very powerful 
you know but for now this is 1500 watt but as you can see the 1000 watt of this amplifier is a little bit shorter and it use a normal output but these output as you can see yeah a little bit different yeah from the rest yeah man so right about now it's all about i'm gonna change it to this all right this in number one this um transistor is 2s c5200 yeah I have the pnp and the npn all right here is a pair the npn and the pnp the number is different but it is the same transistor focus focus come on yeah the number is different but it is it, it is the same transistor this is the PNP NTE 2329 and this is the NPN NTE 2328 all right so yes my viewers stick to see what's coming next all right first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna change these two output first yeah change these two over here replace them with two of these yeah and then try to put some current to it and see how it work yeah so once I get it to work then I move to put in the other two and to make the adjustment for what the other two is gonna want to connect back to the circuit to get it to play all right as you can see I changed the output yeah I'm gonna change these four output inside here first to see the outcome and see if it play on its own all right so as you can see as you can see bigger output yeah I want you to see the number on it yeah yep so it's time for me now to try it stick and stay all right as you can see my people hook up don't watch those little wires you know just for trial yeah my deck is playing but i don't connect the input yet my power supply fan is running that means current is here all right these are the lights the power light and i have a protection red light here so i'm gonna connect watch the light then see the green light the amplifier is on don't feel any heat from the output as yet but this side warm these two warm why are these two warm and these two still cold like they are different output don't understand these two these two warm liquor what is going on don't understand these two still cold all right i'm gonna put some music to it these two look a bit warm don't know if it is the the solder gun or what all right stick and stay i'm gonna get some music to connect to it all right my input hookup yeah my speaker wire is in i have a 18 inch on it yeah just one 18 inch and I, I have it in in bridge I have it in bridge mode as you can see I have it in bridge mode I'm gonna connect my current now watch the light What is that? What is that? What is that, my people?
Don't understand that. My whole put still cold. Don't understand what's going on here. You hear that? I don't want to play it without the transistors and the heat zinc. Yeah, but I get I get sound from it and don't know if anything is burning but I get sound. Yeah. I get sound my people. Let's connect again. Let's see what's going on yeah make a next connection i'm gonna guide the the, the, the light from the, the the light bulb around here that i can see when them come on i'm gonna make a next connection turn it on yeah it's, it's plain Explain my people. Get a little warm because there is no heat zinc. So yes, my viewers, as you can see and as you can hear, yeah, playing. So right now, it's time for me to make connection for the other for the two next output. Yeah, so stick and stay. Uh, I want to do it on camera, but it's gonna take a lot of time. So I'm going to do my work, then come back and show you guys what's going on with the next two output in. Alright, stick and stay. Alright, my people. As you can see, this was the chances I was in before. As you can see, the one that in now is bigger than the one that come out. See it? Yeah? And there is more wattage. This is 125 watt and this is 150 watt. All right, 15 amp. So right about now, it's I get it played, yeah? Bunks good, but I don't play it for long because I don't have it on the heat zinc. So it's all about time. The 12 volt rail, I need to change the capacitor from here. I have 25 volt, 1000 UF. So I need to change it. Use these there. These are 25 volt, 2200 UF. I'm gonna put these here. And get some Hello? bigger ones to put in the 35 volt range here, you know, to get more amperage. All right, my people. The next thing I could do, you know, I could change the transformer or do some work on the transformer. I could pull it out and put some more winding on the output section, yeah, to get more voltage. Because as you can see on the capacitor here is 35 volt aside. So it's about 30 volt aside. Yeah, because the, the, the voltage and the capacitor always look a bit higher than the voltage that going into it. So I would put make it up to 40 volt aside, you know, to get more voltage to the output. But for now, I'm just gonna work it this way. I'm just gonna change this capacitor to put in more amperage here, more UF to get more amperage. Alright? Could be more voltage, same way. This one. My too big to stand up into it, so I have to connect wires on them and connect it. 80 volt, 8200 UF. Yeah? So, my people, stick and steer. Yeah, my viewers, it's all about changing capacitors. Yeah? So, right now I have two big capacitor here. Supposed to be here, but can't put them in stand up, so I have to put them here and connect make a connection so right now I want to play it with these output to see how they work before I put in the other four you know what I mean so right now it is playing beautifully it is 218 right now on it as you can see 218 you hear that the whole place are vibrate yeah so I have 215, 218 on it right now. 218. Yeah. Playing right now. Yeah. 
it uh, just started to warm so this is what we have to check to make sure you know just started to warm yeah and these amplifier hot, um, hot very quick quick um, quickly you know what I mean so yes it is bass so you're not gonna hear it very clearly you have to listen very good to hear it but you can hear the zinc shaking Yeah. I'm gonna play it to see, you know, how they perform inside here. And then I'm gonna do a next video adding on the other four. Two on this side and two on this side. Yeah, but for now, as you can see, the transistors are very big, but they still fit inside here. So, in the next video, I have to put one here and one over here. I have to run the wires to them, make the connection, and get two more of these resistors for these two, because each output of a resistor. Yeah? Looking good so far. Yeah? Looking good so far, my people. Play good. Listen. Yeah. Yeah. Sounding good, my people. So, right now, it was 1500 watts, so I tried to put an X500 on it. But most of the time, yeah, you have these amplifiers, you can upgrade them to get more. And I can get many more wattage out of this amplifier but i have to change the transformer yeah you know because these this is the transformer that turn the 12 volt dc into ac and then turn it back into dc with these rectifier over here to go to the output you understand so this is 35 volt aside yeah for each side center top yeah you have grounds and you have negative grounds and positive yeah so that's how with the amplifier work so i'm gonna play to see the outcome of it before i install the other four output into it sound too bad my people don't sound bad at all don't sound bad at all yes yeah, so um i was planning to play low mid with this amp but when i look on the two output the two little output yeah these output here i said i, I know that these transistors are high power transistors but when i see only two on one side i said this can't play low mid and and my low mid I'm gonna use 315 on one side, 315 on one side. This is two ohms, the lowest it can go down go down to. So when I put two eight ohms 15 together, I'm gonna get four ohms. When I put one more to it, I could be get three ohms. Or somewhere weird um yeah, about three ohms. Yeah, I'm gonna get. So I think that is more comfortable. So that is the reason why I, I want to upgrade this amplifier to get it so that I can play a strong low mid. Because you know low mid have to be very strong, you know. When the bass is, you know, playing like that, the low mid have to keep licking. You can't just play low mid like, like that. A low mid have to keep licking. You have to give you a hard lick and you have to get that bass, that low mid bass. You know what I mean? So when playing a sound system and you, you, you cut your original bass, you must hear that low mid bass still licking because the people need something to bounce about. You know what I mean? You can't just hear only tapping. You need bass. So your low mid must be very strong. So that is the reason why I need a strong amplifier. But soon and very soon I'm going to get 
a bigger amplifier, better amplifier, tar amp, something like that to play low mid and low mid. All right. Yes. As well, I said before, I have four mid box. Two of my mid box that's gonna be 25 feet away from me. It's gonna have in two to 15 each, and um. Like on the side, I'm gonna have two other mid box with one 15 each, one on and a tweeter. So you know that's gonna be three 15 on one side and three on the other side. So yes, my people, it's all about ever slick media. So stick and stay to see part two of installing the other four chan sisters inside. Yeah, my tester is going inside here. It still don't warm as yet, you know yeah and it is still playing so i'm just gonna play it and see how it it play with these different chances bigger chances more wattage yeah and i upgrade the current section a little just a little i just put some more amperage inside here because this is one of these cap is 8200 and the one that come out these it was 2200 so more uf on the cap it can give you more amperage to the amplifier more current it hold the current more steady to the output if you understand what i'm saying so yes it's all about the upgrade of a crunch 1500 yeah try to put it to 2000 watt but trust me my viewers you know when it come to an amplifier like this and them tell you it is 1500 sometimes it is a thousand but you know I'm just going to want to boot it up that it can play the low mid a little better. So my viewers and my subscribers, if you're new here, my name is Ever Slick, And trust me, the upgrade doing fine. So as soon as I play this for the day and see how it feel, yeah, that is the reason why I put it on 218 to play bass, to see how it drive, you know what I mean? So as soon as I play it and comfortable with it, I'm going to do a video installing the other four Chan sisters, all right? Some of yours are my subscribers. It's all about ever sleep media. Welcome to Everslick Media. Welcome to Everslick Media.